What's your what's your big takeaway that you got out of that? Like, you know, we all have that's the problem with going to these masterminds. When we come back, we want to change a million things and take all these great ideas and put them to work and, you know, but we have to be realistic. So, so what would you say your one or two biggest takeaways were from the event? Well, I don't feel as bad now for not being able to find a marketing manager because uh, in our room, I think uh, no less than 10 or 15 people are looking for the exact same thing. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Well, I but, think I found one for us, by the way. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. So, um, but I, I think on the other side, it's it's utilizing social media to um, to our, our best uh, benefit. And one of the things um, Eric Brewer got up and they were talking, it was just like, all right, before we even do this presentation, we want everyone to make a post on whatever social media platform you like or all of them. And just ask for something. And um, so, you know, everyone did. And then by the end of the, sh you know, end of their uh, hour long presentation, which was on utilizing social media, they asked people to say, hey, you know, in that hour, did anything happen? Um, well, Bill put out there that he was looking for people to, uh, you know, invest in a fund. And he had three direct messages within that hour. Of, of people interested in, in investing in the fund. And, you know, Bill's just like, like it, it's so easy and so simple. You don't even think about it. You just need someone to <laughs> remind you like, hey, just ask on social media. Let's see what happens. That's exactly right. That's so funny that you said that because I was scrolling through Facebook this morning and I saw that he had posted that. And I thought, in fact, he posted two different things. And I saw that one. Sorry for the background noise. They're pouring ice next to me. But I saw <laughs> it's done. So I saw that post and I didn't see any response on it. And I thought, bummer. But I'm so glad to hear that uh, that he had some private messages. That was a that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean what and, an excellent you know, idea. They, they, they brought up great points, you know, people who, you know. They, they went out to the streets and interviewed just, just random people and, and asked like, hey, you know, if Jonathan Davis, if he doesn't have a Facebook or you can't find him on social media, how do you feel about that? And they're like, no big deal. He's, you know, he's probably a private guy, which I don't have any social media. <laughs> so uh, I do. I think I do have LinkedIn. I do have LinkedIn. Um, but, you know, like no big deal. He's a private guy. Well, they said, well, what if Jonathan Davis owns a company and he has no social media presence? They the first response out of most people's mouths were he's probably a scam. So it is okay for people to not have social media presence, but it is definitely not okay for a business to not have a social media presence. So that was, it was just a good reminder. Like, Hey, you need to be making yourself known, posting often and, you know, making yourself relevant. That's amazing. That's really amazing.